So for the next card, I wanted to create this adorable citrus card. So our card base already has stamped on the inside, have a happy day, which I thought was really, really cute. So what we're going to be doing here, this is not a super com complicated card, but it is absolutely adorable. So what you're going to see in your little kit here are three pieces. Okay. One of them on the gingham side says you're the zest. One on the orange side says happy birthday. And then one of these is totally, does not have any sentiment stamped, but it's oranges on one side and gingham on the other side, okay? So what we're gonna do very, very first is we are going to take our little orange piece and this is gonna go on the right side of this orange piece of paper. So I'm just gonna use a little bit of glue to adhere that in place. All right. And I'm probably gonna leave myself maybe half an inch border on the right side. Maybe I will do a little bit more. So, but that's what we have on our right side. Now, you, I don't know if yours is matching up perfectly. Mine is not. And so my orange is hanging off of, my orange paper is hanging off of the orange shimmer paper. So what I'm gonna do is, because it's hanging off a little bit, I'm just gonna take my scissors and just trim that. All right, because we want that to be flush with the sides there. And the reason why is because we have this fun ribbon. Now, technically, this is like an ochre colored ribbon, but I really like that it kind of looks like an orange rind. It's kind of fuzzy like that. I don't know. I just kind of, I just enjoy it. So what we're going to do is we're going to start out by we're going to hang this little um, end of the twine down here, and we're going to wrap it all the way around our orange piece until we can't wrap it anymore. Then I'm going to tie a little knot. Whoops. And then after I tie the first knot, I'm going to go underneath all the other pieces and cinch it and tie a second knot. And that will just kind of lock it in. After you have them locked in, then you can kind of adjust where you want your little twine pieces to land. Sometimes I'll kind of squeeze my paper like this. That way I can adjust without ripping my paper. Cute. And I like that it kind of creates like a little focal point on the card that your eye kind of lands on that. I think that's kind of fun. All right. And I'm going to trim those off. You can leave the tails as long as you wish. It's really up to you. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and mount this onto my card base. So I'm going to put double-sided tape on the back on all four sides. Oops. Right, and I'm going to mount this on here with our little powder paper on the right side. And you're going to get about an eighth of an inch border on all four sides of the white. And that really makes the orange pop. Okay, we're going to set that to the side for a moment so we can make these. This is a technique actually for my friend Cheryl. So what we're going to do here is we're actually going to take this little guy and we're going to fold this up about a third of the way. All right. So that's what we're going for. With the other one, we're going to do this exact same thing because we want them to be the same. So we're going to take this little guy, I'm just matching these up next to each other here so I can make sure that they're going to be at the same height because they're going to be two mini envelopes and I want the envelopes to look like they are from the same set, I guess. All right, so when you open those up, it says, you're the zest and happy birthday. All right, now at the top up here, I'm going to have you start from right here where this corner is and we're going to go to about the middle of this right here, okay? So I know that's a little bit confusing, but you're going to see why in just a minute. So I'm going to about the middle. And then I do the same thing over here from the corner where that corner ends to the middle. Okay, so it looks like this. All right, so I want the other one again to be exactly the same. So you could eyeball it if you'd like, but if you're not, if you're worried about eyeballing it, you can line this up on top of that and that will give you a nice little guide. And you can use a pencil to make a mark if you would like. Um, I'm just going to hold it up here so I can use that as my little guide for trimming. But the most important part is that we want these two to be the same, and we want these two to be the same, okay? All right, and you're gonna see why in just a moment for those. We're gonna set this for just a second. Okay, so now, check this out. We're gonna fold this down, and look, it's a tiny little envelope, and it opens up and it says, you're the zest. Isn't that so cute? My friend Cheryl taught me that technique, and I'm like, oh my gosh, it is so precious. Ah, I just love that. Now. You don't have to do this if you don't want to, but if you have a black pen, I highly recommend it. Um, and you can just take your black pen, I recommend a brush tip, and brush it just up against the edge, and I'm talking like hardly any up against the edge, and you just run your pen along that far side. Check this out, when, I don't know if you guys can even see this, but it emphasizes the edge of the flap there. I didn't do it on this side, so you see there's not as much contrast, and it was very hard to see. Um, and if you can't see it and you don't want to do it, don't worry about it. I really like being able to kind of frame things out a little bit because I just think it makes it a little bit more clear that, hey, you know, there's something inside here and you should open it up. 
I'm gonna do the same thing with the other little envelope. And I'm not drawing a line, I'm just running the pen along the edge of the paper, okay? All right, so once we have those down, you're gonna put glue or double-sided tape on the back side of your little envelopes. Okay, so I'm gonna put, I think the one with the gingham up here on the top. And then I'm gonna put the one with the oranges down here at the bottom. And I'm gonna just emphasize all of my little creases there so that my little envelopes can stay closed. And then on the inside of the card, you have have a happy day, and that's where we're gonna use these pieces. You can decide if you wanna do the orange side or if you wanna do the gingham side, but either way, you're going to put some glue on the back side of that, and then we're just gonna line this up. So it's going to frame out our sentiment. So if I'm lining up this corner right here, the middle, with the sentiment line here. And I'm gonna do the same thing for the other side. And that just really helps frame out our little sentiment and ties the front to the inside of the card and also still giving us a nice space to write like a quick little message, all right? Isn't that so cute? Oh my gosh, I just love it. And then when they get it, they say, oh, happy birthday. And you're the zest. Isn't that so cute? Also with our little black pen, we can go in here and do some little dot groupings on the solid orange. So we're gonna do a big dot and a couple little dots big dot and a couple little dots, big dot and a couple little dots. And these just kind of add a little bit of interest kind of here and there. And then sometimes I'll just do a single dot periodically and that will kind of just kind of tie in and make the background not so stark. I don't know if you guys can see that up there. I'm just so happy with this. Ah, yay. And I just love the orange monochromatics as you know. All right, on to the last card.